In this section, we're going to talk about quarter flows. As we said in an earlier section, for their node to be useful, a node operator will want to install one or more flows on their node. And each of these flows describes a sequence of actions for the node to perform. So here's an example flow where one node, node A, is attempting to perform a transaction to update the ledger. So it starts by telling node A to create, verify, and sign a transaction, and send it to another node node B. It then tells node B to verify and, and sign the transaction as well before sending it back to node A. It then tells node A to send the transaction onto the notary pool to provide uniqueness consensus. It tells the notary pool to sign the transaction before sending it back to node A. It tells node A to record the transaction and send it to node B. And finally it tells node B to record the transaction. But this is just an example of a flow. So the flow framework is completely flexible. You could write a flow that doesn't speak to any other nodes, or a flow that doesn't update the ledger at all, or a flow that does database operations or HTTP calls. It is completely up to you as the Core App developer. And so how is all this represented in code? Well, the flows themselves are represented by the flow logic class, and transactions are built using the transaction builder class. And we'll take a look at both of these classes in the next section.